All right, we're gonna do new love for Pisces. Um, so I've been doing this energy, meditating on this energy for a few minutes. I do feel like somebody from your past is coming back. I feel like someone from your past that maybe have sent mixed signals in the past um, is going to want to come back and reconcile, okay? But I'm trying to bring in the energy for new love. Universe, what do we have for new love? So we have the six of wands just fell out. We have the page of cups. We have the ace of cups. Beautiful. We have the nine of wands. So what that's telling me right off the bat, nine of wands, ace of cups, is someone's a little unsure on if they want to offer their love. But I do see victory if someone offers their love. I also see a lot of passion. With the hierophant on the bottom, someone wanting more. This person could want the same as you when it comes to <clears throat> how they view commitments. They could want a traditional commitment. Some of you could do where you put your hands together and make the heart like this. I see that. Some of you could do that. <clears throat> So it could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius that's wanting to come in. What else do we have for new love? Pisces, I feel like they see you. I feel like they see you as a person who gets attention. So you could be someone who is online. You could be someone who's like on stage, a singer, a performer. You could be on social media, a blogger. You could have some sort of following of some sort. But with the Six of Wands, it's like they see. I'm getting strong energy that they see your worth. I see the tower. So it's definitely going to be something expected when this comes in for you. What, do we, what else do we have for this new love for Pisces, Universe, Spirits, Gods, and Angels? With the Ace of Cups, that's a new emotional offer. Page of Cups is a sweet offer. It's going to be a sweet message when it comes in. Ace of Swords, I'm seeing clarity. Someone getting clarity, someone needing clarity. But with the Two of Swords, someone's not wanting to come in yet. Yep, as I was saying, that King of Cups. So what this is telling me is someone right now is going within and realizing how much they truly love and care for you, Pisces. And I say love because I have the king of cups. This person is very emotionally balanced, healing, nurturing, emotionally open and stable. I feel like they're also intuitive to a sense. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also did see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius earlier. That doesn't necessarily mean it though. What I'm getting with this energy is that I feel like this person has a lot of emotion for you. I feel like they care for you a lot. And I feel like right now they're not willing to make the choice to bring in something, but they want to. But right now they're not willing to, what I'm getting is take the action. They're getting a lot of clarity. I'm getting a lot of clarity on how much they truly feel, how deep their emotions are for you. Pisces, I'm also getting the energy that when this person comes in, they could be really tired and overwhelmed in their life. They could want to come in and offer you a big, solid offer and come in and offer you something small like, hey, how are you? I miss seeing you. <clears throat> I definitely feel like there is a hopeful in energy surrounding this offer and this person coming in. I feel like they're very hopeful when they come in. Queen of Cups. So you guys are soulmates. You're y'all are twin flames. Whatever you believe in, Pisces, um, to each their own. But you guys are connected. I do feel like Pisces that this is your next person to be with. Now some of us aren't blessed with people for 20, 30, 50 years. Some of, our, some of us are blessed with super amazing seasons with some amazing people. I don't, for each person it will be different, but I definitely feel like this person is coming in with their offer. And I feel like this is what is meant for you. This is your next season of life. But I do see there is something that's holding them back right now, and I feel like it's their self. There's a reason that they're holding their self back. I feel like they're so 
wrapped up in maybe how much they feel for you or what they want to offer you that they're just not coming in. Strong energy of twos. So something could happen in two days, two weeks, two months. Um, strong juggling energy as well. So that's like, I'm going to offer, no, I'm not. I'm going to offer, no, I'm not. So when you're around this person or you see this person, Pisces, you know, I picked this up on the last new love energy that there was a secret crush in your environment. I feel like this person is wanting more and more to come in. But now there's this juggling energy. So I'm getting like when they go to offer you something, they back out. They go to do it, they back out. They go to do it, they back out. But there is a hopeful energy with the star on the bottom again. There is a hoping. There's like, yeah, I'm going to do that. Just not today is kind of what I get. Yeah, not a pinnacles. This person feels like they need to take a minute. I do feel like they see you very stable, grounded, and abundant. Pisces, you could be working a lot, focusing on your money and your finances. This person could come to your job, your work. When they meet you, you could go to their job or their work. You could be getting something done when you run into them. You could meet them at the grocery store. But the energy that you're surrounding in this reading, Pisces, is a very stable, grounded, and abundant energy. And I feel like you're definitely focusing on your, your finances, your stability, family, your home life, growing in that aspect. And this person's energy is thinking about their emotions for you and how they feel for you and what they want to bring to you and how much they want to invest with you. What else do we have? I'm getting a lot of um, intuition with this. So the universe could be trying to guide them by their intuition. And it's interesting, I have the Seven of Cups as I say that, but there's still this confusion that they feel. There's still this confusion, which is why they won't move forward. It could be something as simple as Pisces is they don't know if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Or they don't know if you're going to take their offer. They don't know if they are your top. They don't know if you're open to it. There's something here that's making them hold back. It could just simply be their self. But there is a path that's going to need to be chosen here with the Two of Wands as I split the deck. But with the Two of Swords, it's telling me they're not willing at this point to take or choose that path. But with the Ace of Swords, they're getting clarity to help get them to hopefully they'll make that choice. Interesting. So still an energy of holding back. What else do we have for this person? I just heard your person could be older than you. So for some of you, your person could definitely be older than you. Yeah, three of wands. And see, that's what I'm getting. I feel like you're just waiting. You're just waiting. You're doing your own thing. Um, I feel like you're wanting truth. You're wanting clarity. You're wanting this person to come in. You're wanting that message of good news. You're like, why will they not bring this in? But I feel like you could be going through some healing or there could be a lot that's going on that maybe you don't know of that you need to get through first. And there could be things that this person's going through that they need to get through first. At this point, Pisces as well, when you approach this person or when this person sees you, you could be very black and white. You could be very busy or having a lot going on. Again, I'm getting the energy that you could also not see this person in your environment. Nine of Cups says I quit shuffling the deck. So I do feel like this person is going to be a fulfillment in some form, shape, or aspect. This person, I feel like, does want to ask you out for drinks or food or something of that sort. Again, I see the Eight of Swords. So a holding back energy, feeling like there could not maybe be movement forward. I do get with the Queen of Swords, you could possibly be preoccupied. What do we have for the Queen of Swords and the Three of Wands? Yeah, with the Page of Swords, you could have just things going on where you're just not available for this energy yet. Queen of Swords, Three of Wands. I feel like intuitively you know your ships are coming in, though. You could love to wear the color black. Five of Cups. Yeah, there could be some sadness and disappointment in your environment that you're dealing with, Pisces. And you're just, you're really... <clears throat> I get the energy that you're holding. Earlier, you know, we got the energy that you're holding a very abundant, stable, and I feel like you're focusing on your finances. But I feel like you're very black or white in your energy right now. I feel like you're 
working on money or finances or you're being very blunt, straightforward, cutting people off. I'm only focused on myself, leave me alone kind of energy. Um, because there's something in your energy where there's some sort of sadness or disappointment. What do we have for the King of Cups? It could just be healing that you're having to do Pisces or you could just be needing to rest. I do see one cup locked up behind bars. So I'm definitely seeing that you're not really open to accepting any offers at this point. Um, you could be interested in an Aries or dealing with an Aries or a boss or something of that sort. You could have multiple offers. You could want one person, but somebody else could be coming in. Four of Pentacles, holding back energy when it comes to accepting offers. I definitely feel like you could just not want to accept this offer, Pisces. Could be dealing with an Aries as well, a boss, someone who makes really good money. This person could love to wear brown shoes. What else do we have for this new love? Let's put these cards back and see what else comes out. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. So that's what I'm getting. I feel like you could just be so preoccupied that you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to take this offer. Um... I just don't know if this is it. Yeah, Three of Swords. You could have just went through something that was very sad, disappointed. There could be things that are getting triggered in you that you're having to heal right now. You could be feeling very discontent or just have a lot on your plate. What do we have for Pisces? Pisces and new love. Pisces and new love. Where did that card go? Ten of Swords. Very hard endings. So, I feel like you could be going through a lot right now. Yeah, and moving forward, a lot of things could be ending and shifting for you right now, which is why you could just be preoccupied and not at a place where you can handle love or accept an offer. Ten of Swords is a really hard ending. Pisces, I also see you could still be healing from a really hard ending in your past. Where you got clarity that they weren't giving you or were never going to give you what you deserve. Yeah, with the Four of Swords. It could have taken you four months, four years to heal. And see, with Rebirth, I'm getting a little bit of, um, this was on the bottom. I'm getting, like you're transforming yourself. How you handle situations, what you invest in. But I feel like it's been a long time coming. And it's interesting. 3 plus 1, 13 on this card. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Again, I'm getting strong 4. I feel like you're just really tired, Pisces. I feel like it's been a long season is kind of what I'm getting. Um, what are we getting with this new love? What are we getting with this new love? Are they... So we have, again, another offer. So an off... Are we about to go the same direction? I'm getting that you're healing from something that ended in the past still, which could be why you're not accepting this new love or even noticing this new love. Preoccupied in something else, yeah. Balancing the parts of yourself that could be toxic, that could not benefit this part of your connection or dynamic, as I have the devil and justice. Balancing those parts of yourself that want a hot sexual passion relationship and a very stable, grounded, abundant relationship. Because um, sometimes they don't mix. Yeah, yin and yang, but in the same instance, you can't have a chaotic life and expect a peaceful one. It just doesn't work. And I feel like you're realizing who invests how they should and who doesn't. I definitely get a lot of learning when it comes to your collaborations. I want to get a few of these homemade cards because it's interesting. I'm going to be honest, Pisces. I'm getting strong energy. Yeah, forgiving and learning. I got earlier that you could possibly not take this offer with unrequited love. You just feel like there isn't enough to keep this going or you're just not really as interested in this person is what you want to be. What do we have for this connection? Holy shenanigans. See, I have past person returning. That's interesting. Y'all, this could be a past person. 
So, yeah, I doubt this connection, but I feel like they want it all with you. But I do feel like there's, you could definitely have a lot of options. So, we have new person. We have moving slow. So, if you decide to do this, it'll move slow. This person will reach out to you. Yeah, you could have been in something that had a third party Pisces in some shape, form, or aspect that really burned you. And I feel like you're still healing on that. And it's interesting. I said you weren't willing to give your heart. I don't feel like you're willing to share a cup. I don't feel like you're wanting to put yourself back in that position, which I don't blame you. Yeah, but some sort of communication is going to be coming in where that person is going to offer you something. I feel like in the past, Pisces, you could have been dealing with some sort of narcissistic um, person, someone who had narcissistic ways. Pisces, you know, I just got this. It just smacked me straight in the face. You could be tying up loose ends. You could be having to deal with these people from your past coming back in that you have very strong connections with and being tested and saying no, I no. And learning to change what you're attracted to from being a very unhealthy, toxic um, connection to being more attracted to the healthy ones. You could be turned off by healthy connections. I mean, yeah, avoiding intimacy. Someone here could want to avoid intimacy because they could be hurt if they get, yeah, nine of cups in the reverse. I get a little bit of fear of it not being what you want. I get that someone in the past has burned you so bad that it's like, oh, my God, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, so I feel like someone lied to you with truths being spoken. Someone lied to you. I also feel like someone's holding back. But the person that you dealt with in the past was a stalemate. It wasn't, and they were narcissistic. I feel like it was a sexual attraction. But I feel like the person coming in that's new, I feel like you do make them better. Or they see you in a different light is kind of what I'm getting. What do we have for the new love? What does the new love feel for Pisces? What do we have for new love? I want to be more than friends. So this could definitely be someone you're just friends with. I'm getting strong just like acquaintances with. The timing wasn't right for us. That's that old person. And my life is not together like it seems. Mm -hmm. See, that's interesting. There's a lot of energy in here. But we both know I'm not the one for you. That's that old energy coming back in. I feel like you're definitely having to purge an old energy where someone didn't give you what you wanted. They were very toxic. It could have been a Capricorn and you're having to balance that out. But there's someone coming in who's wanting to be more friends with more than friends with you. And it's because being around you is so intoxicating. They really, really, they really like you. But this person, your old person wants to come back because they want to feel that way again. You could have left them, blocked them, something of that sort. It hurt their feelings. Oh, look, it come out again as I said that. Finding out the truth crushed me. It hurt their feelings. Whatever you did, if you're investing in someone else or you invest with this person, it's going to hurt your old person's feelings. Yeah, and the new person's starting to understand why they, why they want to invest. I feel like they didn't understand why they were so maybe attracted to you or what the chemistry or the pull toward you was. But I do feel like the old person understands that they crossed a line with you. But I do also believe that we teach people how to treat us. So, be careful what you accept. Alright, I'm going to leave that here. Try to have a blessed day.